1. The Occident of the First Century After Christ Jesus did not come to this world during an age of spiritual decadence. At the time of his birth, Urantia was experiencing such a revival of spiritual thinking and religious living as it had not known in all its previous post-Adamic history, nor has experienced in any era since. When Michael incarnated on Urantia, the world presented the most favorable condition for the Creator Son's bestowal that had ever previously prevailed or has since obtained. In the centuries just prior to these times, Greek culture and the Greek language had spread over the Occident and Near Orient, and the Jews, being a Levantine race, in nature part Occidental and part Oriental, were eminently fitted to utilize such cultural and linguistic settings for the effective spread of a new religion to both East and West. These most favorable circumstances were further enhanced by the tolerant political rule of the Mediterranean world by the Romans. This entire combination of world influences is well illustrated by the activities of Paul, who, being in religious culture a Hebrew of the Hebrews, proclaimed the gospel of a Jewish Messiah in the Greek tongue, while he himself was a Roman citizen. Nothing like the civilization of the times of Jesus has been seen in the Occident before or since those days. European civilization was unified and coordinated under an extraordinary threefold influence. 1. The Roman political and social systems. 2. The Grecian language and culture, and philosophy to a certain extent. 3. The rapidly spreading influence of Jewish religious and moral teachings. When Jesus was born, the entire Mediterranean world was a unified empire. Good roads, for the first time in the world's history, interconnected many major centers. The seas were cleared of pirates, and a great era of trade and travel was rapidly advancing. Europe did not again enjoy another such period of travel and trade until the 19th century after Christ. Notwithstanding the internal peace and superficial prosperity of the Greco-Roman world, a majority of the inhabitants of the empire languished in squalor and poverty. The small upper class was rich, a miserable and impoverished lower class embraced the rank and file of humanity. There was no happy and prosperous middle class in those days. It had just begun to make its appearance in Roman society. The first struggles between the expanding Roman and Parthian states had been concluded in the then recent past, leaving Syria in the hands of the Romans. In the times of Jesus, Palestine and Syria were enjoying a period of prosperity, relative peace, and extensive commercial intercourse with the lands to both the East and the West.